what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question which says find the value of the square root of 2 minus 1 or raised to the 10. well our first step will be for us to consider what we have inside of the parentheses and we we'll say let's x be equal to what we have inside of the parenthesis which is the square root of 2 minus 1. now our next step will be for us to move negative 1 to the left hand side in order to isolate the square root of 2 and we do that by adding 1 to both sides okay adding 1 to both sides on the left we have x plus 1 equal to then on the right negative 1 plus 1 cancels out leaving behind the square root of 2 now our next step will be for us to get rid of this square root and we do that by taking the square of both sides so taking the square of both sides the left hand side expanding we have x squared so x squared and then plus 2 times x times 1 that's 2x and then plus 1 squared is 1 this is equal to now notice that this square cancels out the square root leaving behind 2 now our next step will be for us to isolate x squared and we do that by subtracting 2x from both sides and we also subtract 1 from both sides now subtracting you notice that on the left hand side 2x minus 2x cancels out and 1 minus 1 cancels out leaving behind x squared on the left to be equal to then on the right we have 2 minus 1 which gives 1 and then minus 2x so minus 2x very good now this is very significant because i'm going to be using this in almost all the solving or calculation and i'll keep multiplying the power until it gets to x to the 10 and that will be my final answer so let's start with the first one we're going to raise x squared to the power of 2 which is raise the left hand side to the power of 2 we we'll also do the same to the right hand side 1 minus 2x or raised to the 2 so we have x to the from indices powers multiply 2 times 2 gives 4 and this is equal to let's expand what we have here this is 1 squared which will give 1 minus 2 which is this power here 2 times 1 times 2x and then plus 2x squared 2x all squared rather so simplifying this we have x to the fourth to be equal to this is 1 and then minus 2 times 1 times 2x gives minus 4x and then plus 2x all squared gives 4x squared very good now remember what i said we're going to be using x squared equal to 1 minus 2x in almost all our calculations now we have x squared here so in place of x squared we're going to substitute 1 minus 2x so let's do that so we have x to the fourth equal to 1 minus 4x plus 4 remember in place of x squared I'll put 1 minus 2x very good 
Now let's open up the bracket. So we have x to the fourth to be equal to 1 minus 4x and then plus 4 times 1 is 4 minus 4 times 2x is 8x. And then simplifying further, we have x to the fourth to be equal to 1 plus 4 gives 5. And then negative 4x, negative 8x is negative 12x. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to raise both sides to the power of 2. So I have x to the fourth. I raise the left hand side to the power of 2. This is equal to, I'll do the same to the right hand side, 5 minus 12x. I raise this to the power of 2. Now remember from indices, powers multiply. So 4 times 2 gives 8. So I have x to the 8 to be equal to. Now expanding this, we have 5 squared, which results to 25. And then minus 2 times 5 times 12x. And then plus 12x all squared. And so simplifying, we have x to the 8 to be equal to 25 minus 2 times 5 times 12x. That's 120x. And then plus... 12x all raised to power 2 gives 144x squared. Very good. Now, like I said, we always substitute x squared because that's what we're going to be using in all our calculations. So this becomes x to the 8 equal to 25 minus 120x plus 144. Remember x squared, the substitution of x squared is 1 minus 2x. Now let's expand what we have here. So this is x to the 8 equal to 25 minus 120x and then plus 144 times 1 is 144 and then minus 144 times 2x, that's 288x. Very good. And then simplifying further by adding like terms, we have x to the 8 to be equal to 25 plus 144. That's give, that will give me 169. Very good. And then negative 120x negative 288x this gives negative 408x very good now we have x to the 8 remember all we have to do is to get x to the 10 so how can i achieve this i can achieve this by multiplying x to the 8 by x squared because from indices, when I have an expression like this, this will result to, I'll take one of the base, since the bases are the same, and I'll add the powers. So 8 plus 2 results to 10. So that means I'm going to multiply both sides by x squared. Now let's do that. So let's multiply both sides by x squared. So this is x to the 8. I'll multiply by x squared equal to, on the right hand side, we have 169 minus 408x. I'm going to multiply this by x squared. Very good. Now multiplying by x squared, you see the results will be x to the 10. And this is equal to, 
the right hand side we have 169 minus 408x this is multiplying x squared do you remember x squared the substitution is 1 minus 2x very good now let's expand so we have x to the 10 to be equal to 169 times 1 gives 169 and then minus 169 times 2x gives 338x and then negative 408x times 1 gives negative 4 8x and then lastly negative 408x times negative 2x this results to positive 816x squared very good so now let's add like terms together so this is x to the 10 will be equal to adding like terms i have 169 so this is the only term without x and then negative 338x negative 408x this will result to negative 746x and then plus 816x squared very good now we have x squared here again we're going to introduce our substitution once again so we have x to the 10 equal to 169 minus 746x plus 816x squared is same as 1 minus 2x from our substitution now let's open up this bracket so we have x to the 10 to be equal to this is 169 minus 746x and then plus 816 times 1 is 816 minus 816 times 2x this gives 1632x very good now let's add up like terms so we have x to the 10 to be equal to now 169 plus 816 this will give 985 and then negative 746x negative 1632x this will give negative 2378x very good very good but this is not our final answer remember from our substitution we said let x be equal to the square root of 2 minus 1 so we're going to be substituting the value of x here so that we get our final answer so this will be x to the 10 equal to this is 985 minus 2378 times x what is x x is the square root of 2 the square root of 2 minus 1 very good now let's expand this so this gives x to the 10 equal to 985 now minus 2378 times the square root of 2 gives minus 2378 square root of 2 and then minus 2378 times minus 1 gives plus 2378 very good and now simplifying further x to the 10 will be now let's add up like terms 985 plus 2378 this will result to 3363 minus now what i have here is 2378 root 2 and this is our final answer remember x to the 10 is what we're actually looking for 
Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.